Let's get started on another maths challenge, junior challenge. And with permission from the UKMT, I'm going to go through a question. And as always, you might want to have a go first and see if what you get is the same as what I get. Here's the question. For how many positive values of n are both a half n and two n three digit whole numbers. Now that might seem intimidating with the, there's hundreds of three digit whole numbers and what's this with a half n and the two n? Really sounds tough. But if we get started, get stuck in, I think you'll find that it's not quite as bad as it looks. How about we try first of all n as a hundred. That's three digits. Problem is, a half n is a half of that, which is 50, and that's not three digits, so we're going to have to make it a lot bigger. We can work logically, though. We know that half n was 50, which is way too low. So how about we start from there and say, what do we want from our n? Well, we want a half of it to be at least 100. Notice we didn't just guess another number here. We looked straight at what we wanted, which was for half n to be a three-digit number, and now we're going to work backwards. If a half of the number is 100, what's the full number? The full number would be 200. What's this 2n? Well, 2n, again, means 2 multiplied by n. 2 times 200 is 400. So 2n, in this case, is 400, which is also a three-digit whole number. So there we go, we found one. 100 didn't work, but 200 did work, because a half of it was 100, which is three digits, and double it is 400, which is three digits. Rather than count all the way up, though, and keep on going forever, and to see how many we can fit in, there must be a way we can make it quicker, though, because 201, 202, 200, 300, 400, it's going to take forever. How about we try and work out what the maximum is? You saw how we looked at a half n to kind of deduce what the minimum was. In the same way, we can kind of reach out and try and touch the ceiling to see how big the room is, to see how much space we've got. So we're going to look at what the maximum would be. The biggest would not be a thousand, because that's four digits, but a number below that. So a thousand, for example, is too big, because n would have to be 500. And half of n, in that case, if it was 500, it would be 250. But 2n is a thousand, which is four digits. But that's not too much of a problem, though, because we know it's anything lower than that. Because anything lower than a thousand, but bigger than 200 in this case, is going to be three digits. Anything lower than a thousand. So we know that's the ceiling. So n is 500 is the ceiling, and n is 200 is the floor. Anything smaller than 200, when you half it, you'll get only two digits, like a 50. Anything bigger than 500, or even 500 itself, and when you double it, you get four digits. So it's those numbers between 200 and 500. So you might be thinking, well, that's 300 numbers. Unfortunately, not quite, because now we have to look at the other thing that they asked for. They didn't just ask for three digits. They ask for three-digit whole numbers. Whole number means no decimals. What happens, for example, if I choose one lower than 500? Like n equals 499. Well, a half of n, a half of 499, is going to be a decimal. Anytime you half an odd number, you get a decimal. In this case, you get 249.5. So any odd number won't work. 
if we did 201, for example, the next one up from 200. Well, when we half it, we'd get 100.5. Again, a decimal, which is not a whole number. And they need it to be a whole number. So it's not going to be 300 numbers, all 300 numbers, between 200 and 500. It's only going to be the even numbers. For example, 201 didn't work, but 202 should work. If n is 202, which is the even number, a half of n is half of 202 is 101. Double of n is double of 202 is 404. Again, both of those are three digit whole numbers. So it's all the even numbers between 200 and 500. Half of them are even, half of them are odd. So if there's 300 numbers in between 200 and 500, only 150 of them are even. So 150 numbers are above 200, which is our minimum, below 500, which is our maximum, and are even. So our answer would be 150.